people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back finally to another video. I've been gone. Where have I been? Doesn't really matter. We have huge things to talk about today and I have good and bad news right off the bat. The good news is we're talking about FNAF AR. The bad news is we are, of course, talking about FNAF AR. Will they finally make the game enjoyable with this new update that's coming out later this month and next month? We can only hope. And of course, before we begin, you do have to subscribe. It is actually illegal if you continue this video without subscribing. I don't make the rules. So I'm just the messenger here. If you are not subscribed, I think you should do it right now. So FNAF AR, it has been getting updates for basically every single week for the past like half a year. And while I am behind on the game, I have yet to face Clown Springtrap, which by the way, great name Illumix. I'm still up to date with all of the news around the game. So I have two posts that I want to look over today. One, again, from 12 days ago when they introduced Magician Mangle into the game, and then one that they released today. Oh, actually it was yesterday. Sorry. So, let's start off with the one from about about two weeks ago, where they introduced, again, Mangle Skin. Now, if I remember correctly, we have gone over this before, so I'm just gonna quickly skim through it. FNAF AR September Update plus Dark Circus plus more. Hello all! Have you been enjoying the Dark Circus while it's in town? We know you've all been patiently waiting for some more news and maybe, just maybe, some clues as to what you have to look forward to in FNAF AR. In this month and beyond, our team here at Illumix has been doubling down and we're always working hard on FNAF AR to make sure that each delivery is extra special. Last week, Ringmaster Foxy welcomed all to the Dark Circus and Magician Mango followed with their own amazing act. Dark Circus still has two more performers that are on their way to perform before it leaves town. As to who they are, all we can say is that you might want to look closer at the Circus poster. At the end of this month, we'll have some brand new gameplay updates for you all, but more on that when the time comes. As we draw closer to October, there are so many exciting things that we have planned for you all. It will be an entirely awesome month and our team has been pushing really hard to craft updates that will delight everyone. For now, just know that there will be multiple characters coming. That's just the least of it, but we've probably already revealed too much. We always have and continue to deeply appreciate the community's love and support of both our team and FNAF AR. These times are difficult and unprecedented given COVID, all the natural disasters, and many worldwide events. Our team hopes that everyone has been able to stay as safe as possible. So again, remember, this is a post from about two weeks ago. So now let's see what they say today, yesterday, whatever. So some key points that they made in the last post, I want you to keep in mind while I'm reading this new one. Some you may want to remember are there are still two more performers to come for the Dark Circus event, and then also more info on the gameplay update this month. All right, here's the new one. Time sure flies when you're having fun. We can't believe that September is already on its way out. Our team is working harder than ever to bring you the most special of deliveries through the end of September and into October. What's left in September? The Dark Circus event will be drawing to a close this week. We know that you all were expecting one more performer in this event, but we wanted to change things up these next two weeks with a blast from the past. We've heard a fair amount of you <laughs> requesting we revisit previous skins and characters, so we'll be doing just that starting this week. Who exactly will be returning, you asked? We can't tell, but as always, we'll drop some hints for you to mull over tomorrow. Get excited for the gameplay updates coming soon, and keep those eyes peeled. More October details. So that is all they had to say about September. I, I want to finish this post, but as you can tell from the way I read it, you can tell I'm not... <laughs> Not really looking forward to what they have. We're unbelievably thrilled for October and wanted to give you all some extra insight into what's on its way. For new animatronics, as we said in our previous September update, multiple characters will be released in October, and I have stuff to say about that as well. Another big gameplay update will be landing towards the end of October, which should really open up some possibilities for you all. Highly doubt that. <laughs> With that, we've reached the end of our mini update. Our team is always listening and we're encouraged by your excitement and kind words. We're dedicated to building the best version of FNAF AR and constantly innovating to bring you fresh ways to enjoy the game. This is a joke, like, is this April Fools? What is going on? Most of all, everyone at Illumix is so grateful for this community. You are all a true delight to develop for. We often can't believe how many awesome people gather here to enjoy FNAF, but also to support each other as only a great community can. Now, while everybody's freaking out over the four new animatronics coming out in October, I want to talk about 
what people aren't talking about, which is the fact that they have completely switched up their own rules. So if you remember, what I told you to remember is that in the last post they said the Dark Circus still has two more performers to come. But now they are saying that the event is over. And keep in mind that post um, last time was made before Clown Springtrap, so we are missing one performer. Who that is, I'm guessing Funtime Freddy, because that is what we are all expecting, because Illumix, you teased him. And also they said that they have a new um, update that they are going to reveal more info about later on when, when the time comes, who knows when that time is. And two weeks later, they reveal absolutely nothing about the gameplay update. So the skins that are reappearing this week and next week will be, um, well they say, something hot, something cold, something sweet, and familiar toys. So something hot, obviously, that is the sizzling characters. Um, something cold, Frostbearer again for the third time. Kinda weird unless I'm forgetting someone. Something sweet, so obviously that's Chocolate Bonnie and Easter Bonnie. Um, I wouldn't really call Easter Bonnie sweet, so maybe just Choco Bonnie. Um, and then familiar toy, so that's, um, Toy Bonnie and, what, Mangle? Those are the only two that aren't permanently in the game. Or Toy Freddy and Mangle. Is Toy Freddy permanently in the game? I don't fucking know. So yeah, those are the characters that are coming out, or coming back, this week and next week. We've heard a fair amount of you guys requesting we revisit previous skins and characters. Trust me, I highly, highly doubt that anybody was asking for this. I will admit, right, I am not- my disappointment in the returning characters isn't the fact that we are getting returning characters. The last time they did that, you know, I was, I was fine with it. It gives people a chance that didn't get those characters to get those characters, even though they can just ask their friends to send it to them, but whatever, I guess. My main problem is that they got rid of this new character to bring back old characters. So very clearly, something happened behind the scenes, and I really wish Illumix would just tell us outright. You know, like, the character isn't ready, we teased this too early. I feel like this is a common thing now with FNAF, is just revealing things way too freaking early. I think a lot of the struggles with Security Breach can be tied back to re revealing the game way too freaking early. Um, and now, Illumix is doing the same thing, where they are teasing characters way too early. I, I, I was gonna tweet about this, but I just- I didn't feel like it, because I didn't want to write another twit longer. But, like, Lefty and Funtime Freddy, they were- they're both in the files, and they have both been teased in promotional material. Toy Bonnie and the puppet can be spotted in the Easter teaser, like the candy shop. Glitch Trap was in the trailer, and Plus Trap, well, he's been freaking everywhere. And those are just a few examples, right? And so now, this new character that was supposed to come out this week is not happening. Again, my issue is not the fact that they are bringing back old characters. My issue is the fact that they did this and didn't- tell anybody about it. They didn't give a reason why this character is not coming. Because we were all expecting Fun Time Freddy, because they teased him, they teased him in the past, you know, on the, um, the New Year's, right, he was on a, pl a present in the New Year's teaser, and he was also presumably in the Dark Circus poster teaser. And since they just released Below, it made sense to release at least Fun Time Freddy or Fun Time Foxy. That was literally everyone's bet. Uh, and now they're just not getting released for some unknown reason. I really wish Illumix was more honest with characters and skins and when they are releasing them. Because at this point, it's always just a shot in the dark. A great example of that is the most recent event, the Dark Circus event. For the poster, we were all speculating, um, the, the characters that were going to be added. You know, they made a big deal about all these attractions coming, and then they turned out that, like, three out of the four were just skins, which is not, you know, it's not exciting, it's very disappointing. Hi, it's editing Johnny Box here. I want to continue on that thought because it, it seems incomplete when I'm editing it. We had a six month gap between um, our last character, which was Mangle, um, and the newest character, which is Blur. We had six months, like half a year, literally half of a year, where they could be walking on brand new characters. And the fact that when we got, when we finally got a new character, it was just one when they made a big deal of this whole event and all the attractions in it. It just, it was very disappointing, that's what I'm trying to say. When they had half a year to work on them, and we just got one. That's the main point I'm trying to make, and I know there are people at Illumix that are specializing in modeling characters. There are people that are special specializing in doing the textures. So I know that there were people working on specifically those things. 
Um, but in that case, if they're done with their job, let them move on to other things. Like, let's say they're done texturing Funtime Freddy, then move on to Funtime Foxy, move on to um, Endnote. So you have a backlog of all of these textures and models, and then the animation people can do the animations, and that, that honestly just makes a lot more sense in my mind. I get it, they gotta release skins, they gotta keep um, the updates pumping out, but really, who is excited at this point for skins? And I've said this in the past, it's like, you know, whenever I go to a court on those days for FNAF AR, I don't do it anymore because, frankly, I just don't really care about recording that game anymore. It doesn't feel as special as it did back when it first released because it's just another thing to upload. It's just another skin. I know it's the same thing with just a different appearance. So before I ramble on for too much longer, um, I'm gonna get back to original me. I'm gonna finish editing. Alright, bye. I feel like a better way to do that was to not bring so much attention to those characters that many people are just going to be disappointed about. And I am, I'm not alone when I say I think this is one of the weakest events that they've done. Personally, the only skin that I really liked this, this event was Magician Mangle. And of course the addition of Bloor, but you know, Bloor is different because they are a character. So I've been on this topic for a bit, I'm gonna move on, just Illumix, just letting you know I'm disappointed that you didn't give any reason to this, not even just like a, a crappy one. Like, you didn't give any reason for why this is happening. The only reason you gave, it's its not a reason, it's an excuse. The fact that people asked for previous skins, which I can guarantee you is like 99.9% .9 not the case. Knowing the FNAF community, uh, we were we were all hoping for a character. So, using, using the returning character, people wanting returning characters as an excuse is literally bullcrap. Anyways, I'm moving on. The gameplay update. Where's the info on that? You said you would reveal more when the time when the time came. Again, when that is, I don't freaking know because we are now two weeks. One week? How many days are in September? One week away from the end of September. So where this information on the update is going to come from is unknown. This was your perfect time to tease it. You talked about it in the last community post. Why wouldn't you talk about it here? It makes literally no sense. And keep in mind guys that they called the challenges a new gameplay update so honestly I never have high hopes when they say a new gameplay update is coming out because it's just like if they call the the challenges a gameplay update what what are they gonna call next? I don't know like I want to be excited for this game and I, and I am honestly I am for the October um, details it sounds like it's gonna be a great month for the game. For new animatronics which by the way the, the terminology for FNAF AR can be very confusing because the word animatronic can mean both a skin and a character. Luckily, they follow it up with multiple characters, which as far as Illumix has said, characters are characters with CPUs, not skin. So going off of that, if we do not get four characters, not one character and three skins, if we get four characters, I will be unbelievably happy with October because, again, in addition to that, we are also getting a new gameplay update. Now, a lot of people have already talked about the characters, and I feel like it's pretty obvious who they are going to be, obviously, either the Withers or the Nightmares. I feel like they make the most sense calling out Puggo here. I definitely do not think it is going to be a Halloween-themed character set. Why they would put in Jack O'Bonnie and Jacko Chica before normal Nightmare Chica and normal Nightmare Bonnie is unbelievably strange. I, I don't think they're going to do that. I think at some point they will add the Jacko characters, but definitely not in this update. I see Nightmare Yon and Nightmare Mango and Nightmare BB, um, all the Halloween characters that aren't based off of the OG FNAF 4 characters, if that makes sense. So again, excluding Jacko Bonnie and Jacko Chica, I think they have a good chance of getting in. So I'd say it's either those guys, the normal Nightmares, or the Withers. Those are, those are my bets. And again, you say characters, Lumix. Um, I can't remember if you pulled this <laughs> pulled this last time um, when we're talking about the Dark Circus event, but if if we do not get four characters, I'm gonna be upset. And if the gameplay, the two two gameplay updates that we get in the next two months, if they are not good, I am just gonna be oh my god, how more disappointed can I get in this game? I mean that's really it. Uh, I could ramble on more, but I really don't feel like it. <laughs> I feel like I, I always ramble on when doing FNAF AR videos because you guys know I give my honest opinion on the game. That's why I'm always so harsh on the Lumix and the game itself when talking about it, because I think it is a, a good concept. It just, you know, after a year on the market, it still needs so much more work. And can, can you believe that, guys? FNAF Fair was nearly a year old. They celebrated the anniversary of the launch trailer, not the launch tra trailer, the announcement trailer, like a couple days ago. 
That's insane. They say that these gameplay updates are big, and I really do hope they are. Uh, they also say keep your eyes peeled for info on the gameplay update and when that gets announced. Um, obviously, I'll make a video about it for right now, though that is where I'm going to end it. So thanks for watching. Um, I guess I should get around to doing Clown Springtrap sometime soon. So yeah, that's really it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.